Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cybertron. I am your host, Scott. I'm not feeling well. I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine, and it's kicking me butt. This show, I'm going to say this right up front, this show, not meant for those under the age of, let's say, 21. Oh, uh, 21 and Dang. Get out. You don't belong here, because we're going to be talking about some adult stuff and some adult situations. <laughs> Ain't that right, Chase? Viewer discretion is advised. That's right. That's my buddy Chase down there. I called Chase earlier to, uh, earlier this week and went, hey, are you still alive? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Place was like four hours away, but I was still alive. Almost got ran over by a grocery pallet, though. See? <laughs> Good thing I called. There was a shooting down in Tennessee, and I thought, well, Chase is either part of it or doing it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I better check in on the Vlad. Oh, my God. All the way from sunny, sunny Sweden. You can see it behind him. Look at that, like that like golden, golden rays <laughs> bathing him. That's either the sunlight or just the ethereal glow of heaven basking upon his manly shoulders. It's Holson. Hello, hello, hello. I had somebody today tell me that your idea of nuking everything we want to keep bullshit, and then I swayed his mind whenever I told him to look up the facts about Chernobyl and Bikini Atoll. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is uh, a couple of nukes is the best thing you can do to uh, uh, save your fragile e- ecosystem. Yeah, just uh, it really is though, because yeah. people will avoid that area. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And it's great it makes... because you get double the amount of wildlife because they've all got two heads. True. <laughs> and what a lot of people don't seem to realize is that um, when you have like like iodine two thirty, I think that's what it is, radioactive iodine. It when when things like that are released into the into the environment, they're immediately absorbed by kelp, and no one seems to know that. That, so, by the way, part yeah. of our second evil plan to save the rainforest. <laughs> that's Thomas talking about radioactive kelp. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. And over here, it's the money man, the guy who's going to pay for all this, Xavier. And I'm doing it with our bird lawyer, siphoning funds. Fucking hell. See yes, sir. You know what? That's how, it, that's how it goes. It wouldn't be a bad idea to nuke the rainforest. Let's <laughs> nuke the jungle, nuke the rainforest. I swear to God. Like, yeah, we'll be villains now, but in 300 years, we'll be heroes. Yeah, look True. what Genghis Khan did. He cooled the planet by killing 8 million people. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Genghis. Dude, that's what we can call ourselves. The Genghis Khan Association. <laughs> not not 238-131. They do both exist, though. I was, I was confusing two different isotopes. In I think opinion, Thomas is in a parallel dimension. He's having a conversation about isotopes on a different podcast. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mentioned. I, I just meant. I mentioned radioactive iodine, and I was actually confusing two different <laughs> forms of it. Yeah, yeah I can have two different the... conversations too. Watch this. Hey, Scott, you think if we were a bunch of vampires, we would be called the Vlad Lads? <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I great. think that's great. I've got. I've got a couple ideas of my own. I'm uh, fairly certain that the Easter Bunny is just Jesus's persona. And <laughs> yes. Uh, Hippitus had, hoppitus domine. I had, I had <laughs> another. I had another, but it's gone. But I'll tell you what I do have. Oh, my God. I got stuff from Sir Toys. Look at all this. Oh if I'm slurring my speech, I took a hydrocodone for the pain a little bit earlier <laughs> and a couple hits of wheat. Yeah, and uh, mm. God inserted it directly into his toe gash. Oh my God! It's called my Call. meat pocket. Thank you, <laughs> Carbot dinosaur. What is this? That's a good jingle. What is this? Beast Wars Tigatron Yellow. Do you mean Cheetor? <laughs> 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 oh, look, look! He's got he's got the spots. Perfectly symmetrical ones. I have hmm. these. I have these, by the way. Oh. I have these two KOs. I don't know where they're yeah. I didn't realize it came in black. Oh, you mean Ravage? A... <laughs> no, Halloween Horror Conchidor. 
Dude, we're now that was like a weird, like lavender, wasn't it? Hey, no, no, he was gray and yellow. Hey. Ah, hey, I just water. love her, that's her. water. Yeah, that's water. Water's my friend. He's not an asshole. <laughs> yes. I mean, it helps. I mean, he can be, but he's my friend. God damn it! Oh my god, Sir Toys is great. I I got I got some stuff coming to me. From Sir Toys. Let's let's see if I got a tracking number that's that's updated. I should probably maybe look at this on another time so I don't accidentally dox myself again. <laughs> that, was, that was a bitch. That was a real bitch. Uh, but yeah, the latest stuff here on Sir Toys. Man, there's just there's a lot of weird stuff like this pterodactyl that the turns into a pterodactyl. Look at him snowboarding down the mountain like oh, he's throwing his arms out. Hence and his the face. name. Yeah. 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 Do you know what this reminds me of? Does anybody Summer 1977? Fucking... Yes. Does anybody fucking remember Manglord? <laughs> Manglord? Manglord. Oh, shit. So, Manglord. Is that was... like. Uh... Oh, go ahead, Holston. Mr. Is that a super villain? Mr. Potato Head, but with a mango. Mangalord was yep. like these action figures. You were supposed to be able to rip them apart and then put them back together. They were made of like <clears throat> sticky, that stuff that like the octopuses that fall down the goddamn windowsill are made of. But they never really worked. Mangalord. I had a couple of Mangalords as a kid. One of them, Mangalord was from the planet Mangle. And <laughs> they nice. fucking... There was like, there's Mangalord. He was essentially a generic swamp thing, right? <laughs> and they all came in like these fucking eggs. Does he protect the green? What's, what's with the fashion sense on Mangalore? Oh, shit. I had, I had Mangalord. I had Mangler Mountain. And I had Mangalosaurus Rex as well. But there was one. I called, love that. There was that one called Mangal. Yeah, there's Mangalord. But there he is Mangalodactyl. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What's his uh, kaiju have... theme? Manglodactyl. What's it sound like <laughs> when he fights Godzilla? Yeah. Fucking... So, what What doesn't work about them? Uh, you tear them apart and they don't go back together. <laughs> oh, so you're just, you're just breaking wow. them, really? It, it was, yeah. <clears throat> it was just like one solid piece of rubber. Like sticky rubber. And just, it would not go the fuck back together, no matter what you did. And it or was just like everything the package told you was a lie. I had, <laughs> I had Manglord, and I tore his arm off and couldn't, it, like, it, it worked once, it went back. But it's the same way that, like, you know, a piece of tape that has hair on it will stick to another piece of tape that has hair on uh, it. Just barely. So it oh. It's kind of like that Warner Brothers Looney Tune cartoon where the dude shows up in the double suit and he swallows nitroglycerin and blows up and Daffy Duck or Porky Pig so hella impressed like wow what a great trick and then the, the ghost of the guy comes back in the room and he says yeah but the problem is I can only do the trick once yeah. well, this is a goddamn shame because quite honestly I remember that. with ball joints now I think it's time for a Mangalord revival we could make this tech work wasn't that now, now you can, yeah. wasn't that Waspinator's wow. name in Beast Wars yeah. Japan Manglor. Here's, here's the Manglor Dragon. <laughs> yeah, there's Manglor Mountain, Manglosaurus. I'm just trying to imagine in my head what the conversation looked like with the executives that at the toy company that made this. Oh, I can like. fucking tell you exactly what it was. He man's a thing. <laughs> yeah, let's is like Let's make this thing that can, you know, you can rip apart and put back together again. Except let's use materials that don't work like that. Manglizard. <laughs> Manglizard. There it is. Are you ordering a drink while you're high on medicine and weed? Oh, there's also Manglo Demon. Oh, fuck. But you know what? I, was I, going, I, 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 was... I can tell you exactly how that conversation went. You, you, you bring up that, uh, that image macro of... Uh, Fucking Michael Jordan just saying "fuck them kids" at the bottom. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. Hey, Michael Jordan, notorious asshole. Oh my god! I, I can get Manglosaurus wrecked too. 
Ooh, I have I have a question yeah. about Carbot Dinosaur. Yeah. What here. about this? Good is, news. What, We're what here. About, what about this is a Carbot? I don't know. Obviously, I think Carbot's the name of the company. Oh. <laughs> Like Tobot, why aren't these things changing into toes? Well, that's just you know. yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> I like that. Or Takara Tomi transforming into two tiny Asian men. Oh, and calling forth Mothra. Tomi, but Mothra turns into a train. <laughs> if you are so fucking inclined, I am so high right now, off my ass. Uh, if you're so inclined, hey, good news. Get over here to Sir Toys. <clears throat> you get what you want. You don't pay a penny more if you click the link down below. We get a little something on the side. Paul gets your business. It's a good time for everyone. It is. Hey, Scott. Yeah. You're high as a fucking kite, baby. Yeah, Look baby. up kite. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing. Let me take a drink of water. Mountain Dew. Mountain Code Dew. Red Blast, you mean? No, no, no. We, we we're a major melon family around here. Um, <laughs> there, there was the the Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest. Number one, your Thursday thing was kind of sucked for Transformers fans. Although I did appreciate seeing RC's thighs biggle from Cybertronic Spree. Thank you for that. <laughs> that was pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then the Transformers panel, it was, I would say that the Transformers panel may have been, it was a very good panel, but it may have been the most unintentionally funny thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm, mm. Mark? Because once again, Mark was high as fuck. Oh, I love Mark. Mark's my spirit animal. Mark was high as <laughs> He's just like, hey everybody, man, I got Optimus in my beard. He actually had Optimus in his beard. There was <clears throat> there was a part where the woman who was with Mark, uh, <clears throat> joining him via Zoom call, Mark went, yeah, man, this is wild. <laughs> and then there was a long silence of about five seconds while she just had to collect herself. The uh, <laughs> audio delay. That's all it was. The. the oh, man. Uh, I, I, it was so fucking hilarious when they're, when they're revealing the Titan class arc, and he's like, I've got a tiny little Optimus in my beard. And he just pulls fucking Optimus out of his beard. Because Mark has a beard now. It's not just the Teddy Roosevelt mustache. Uh, but they showed off a lot of stuff. The first thing I do want to talk about is this uh, Jay and Silent Bob uh, showed mm -hmm. off. I, I saw that. Yeah, showed off the new Optimus Prime. <clears throat> Silent Bob, what? Kevin Smith is looking pretty good. He's lost a lot of weight. Jason Mewes is a walking don't do drugs ad. Well, <laughs> he's over the drugs, married, has a kid now, so he's doing okay. Yeah. But yeah, he 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 quit the heroin and found Jesus. Hey, you know, that's that's the way you roll. They showed off this Optimus <laughs> Prime. It is 19 inches tall, auto transforms, talks to you. And the if you want one of the funniest things you've ever seen in your life, whenever Kevin Smith looks at Jason Mewes and goes, how much is it, man? And Jason Mewes goes, $699. And, like, I don't think anybody told them the price. Because <laughs> you can instantly see both of them and go, keep it the fuck together. I'll buy fucking I'll two buy of them. Me. This is great. Great. <laughs> Sell it as best you can. Dang. I'm in clerks. I've got fuck tons of money. I'm Kevin Smith. I don't just have fuck you money. I have fuck me money. I can spend money to hurt myself. I'm Kevin Smith. My next movie's an NFT. Oh my god. Oh god. I don't need yeah. this bullshit from you collector fucks. I made ball rats. I I do like I do like the Optimus Prime. I would say yeah. $700. Yeah, you're paying that's for electronics. Damn, that's a Unicron. I know. You're paying for the electronics in that damn thing. It does, I was, yeah. what is it, 5000 If you want to get technical, you're paying for that licensing fee. Yeah. 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 I, I, was, I was actually going to buy a humanoid robot building kit uh, off of Robot Shop or something, uh, and it, that would have cost me around seven, $800. 
So where is the echo coming from? I don't. I have no idea. Hello. Anyway, uh, this uh, this Walter is usually the usual suspect. This is old news because last year we showed off this video of a pre-changing Optimus and the guy who built this thing, like the the Asian engineer who is responsible for making this, also made an iron hide and a a hound. With, so he had two more of these things already created, and he had that video stamped, I think, 2019. I've also seen a scrapper. Yeah, I've seen that scrapper too. Yeah. So this is this is just old news, but this is just officially for sale now, which is weird because it's like, huh, that looks exactly like the one from that video of the dude showing off his build. And then all of a sudden, here it is being played by Jay and Silent Bob. And I'm like, oh, it is. He sold the design to Hasbro or Takara. The one thing that I thought was super cool was that Optimus, when he stands still, he just doesn't stand still. He does like the, like, Chest he like kind of breathes back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, Excuse me. The Part only thing. Me... Is... Hmm? Go ahead. Part of me wonders, though, if if that's not intentional, if that's actually just the, the servos correcting for, uh, you know. Oh, no. Wobble. This is this is very intentional. This is. Yeah. This is something I'm curious if it's going to do well, because if it is, are we going to get more versions of this down the road? Because it's an Optimus. It's pretty much patient zero for replication into different forms. So if they do that, are we eventually going to get alternate universe Optimus that just lays down and dies? I feel yes. like that right now. <laughs> oh, no. Take take some more drugs. <laughs> call your wife over and tell her, hey, call a uh, Tommy typewriter and have him deliver a dime bag. You're absolutely right. Talk about Optimus. I'll be right back. <laughs> they could they they could they could do a shattered glass one and just give him a bunch of phrases or you know a bunch of sound bites of him saying <laughs> mean things from the movies. You okay? So first off, you've heard the video. You've watched the video where they talk to Optimus and go, "Hey, Optimus," and he goes, "Responding or stand by, right?" Shattered yeah. glass Optimus or Scourge or Nemesis Prime, whatever the black paint is going to be. Should just turn his head around 180, look at you, and go, What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining all of the, all of those really horrible, mean things that the movie verse Prime kept saying, like, give me your face. Or... <laughs> Shattered glass. Now we killed them all. <laughs> Dude, Shattered Glass is ripe for doing this shit, and I would love it. Love it if they did a Shattered Glass because the comic had uh, Optimus's own version of Seekers in the Shattered Glass. So I would love to see a version of this expensive toy have Seekers that he can control. So you're basically shouting at your Shattered Glass Optimus, Optimus, send the Seekers out. And then the toy Shattered Glass Optimus goes, go my Seekers. And then three more tiny vehicles transform and roll out. What, now, what body I think, type I are I think the next thing we'll see for this is going to be a trailer that just absolutely fucking disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the the shattered glass seekers weren't all a body type the way uh, the the regular ones are. The shattered glass seekers were like jazz, blur, and hot rod. I thought mm-hmm. uh, so was, was one of the seekers too, wasn't he? Oh yeah, ma- okay. It was Goldbug, not uh, not jazz. Yeah. Not fucked up. So so they so they didn't really have a unifying body type or anything right yeah. which no, hey, be... shattered glass is opposites land so you know what's what's the defining feature of the seekers is they're all repaints of one toy so you invert that and it's like okay well now it's three different looking guys it sounds and... really obvious to me like that it, it should have been the datsun bros still it, yeah. it would be really hilarious if a, a future version of this overpriced robot shouted orders at smaller versions of overpriced robots and they did his bidding <laughs> like he's the central hub that just distributes commands <laughs> yes he looks down at them and says give me your face and one of them actually does oh, ooh a fallen you. with Rick face <laughs> thank you so much Ariana can I get some of that Ariana's asleep in the next room I'm trying to reach her psychically. Every every pothead can reach each other through their dreams. It's like uh, mycelian connections. The uh, we just connects you. 
I'm just telling everybody, hey, I got my toys. Confirm goods received. Confirm. Yay. <laughs> oh my god. Let's let's get away from this Optimus. It's it, it would be nice to have, but like it's eighty dollars nice to have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not a maybe, Unicron price. Why why was Unicron a crowdfunded Christmas. thing? Because whoo, that boy big. And this isn't and this isn't uh, like fuck, fuck Hasbro. Well, well, I mean, because some dude because, alone built that thing. Okay, the reason the reason why uh, Unicron had to be crowdfunded is because, and this one, this thing didn't, is because Robosyn, the company who actually did the robotics work on this, they're the ones taking the financial risk, not Hasbro. Ah, they're taking uh, it. <laughs> It's already been designed. All the parts, you mm -hmm. know, all the, the template for it has already exists. Yeah. And I yeah. think they, yeah. I think they kind of won because that fucker sold out on Hasbro Pulse. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Uh, let's double check That's here. Surprising. Hasbro. I mean, I'm not surprised for that price because statues sell out instantly, right. and I have yeah. no idea who gets the thousands needed for some of these polystone abominations. Saudi oil princes mostly. Yeah, right yeah. there. Right there it is. Team up series pre order sold the fuck out. Email me if available. His wrist doesn't even have a flip up uh, communication panel. That's that's some money. You what know what my bet is? is? Another, another reason why this super high end stuff sells out so quickly is because they only make like five hundred. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. say I was I was actually going to say that I was like they probably only made like five hundred of these. Yeah, I yeah. want you all to gaze something upon like the that. face of your lord to the right there. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh my god! I can't see his face through all the beard. Yeah. Hey, if he can give me more Beast Wars toys, I'd be happy. Hey, you know yeah, what? Absolutely. Yeah, you'll get a little Beast more, more Beast Wars here. We got images of the Ark this week. Now, we did get them before the Pulse Fan Fest. But damn, this looks good. It's a little short for my taste. The Ark is only going to be 19 inches tall. But, shit, I mean, it looks good. Damn, Mark, you looking at me like I'm a snack. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do get mainframe. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how big did you say the arc is? 19 inches tall. 19. So Titan. not as big as the other Titans. That is or, correct. Uh, yeah. He's he's probably about the same height Damn. as uh, as Trypticon, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And Omega. That's about the same. Because Trypticon's a little bit shorter, but that's also because of how much longer he is. Uh, I would so, say so maybe, about... maybe Omega size. Yeah, they're the same height. I have them over there. Yeah. Also, mainframe is like the size of a Voyager. Really? Uh, all, all of the other deluxe. previous Titan class in integrated robot buddies have all been like deluxe or smaller. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that because he, he becomes that... It's because he is a giant accessory for the Ark, the control panel for yeah. Teletran 1, so that's mm -hmm. why. Now, the great yep. thing is... Where does he integrate? On the, well, he integrates uh, kind of like underneath the chest. like he That's like right there. But here's the thing. Let me see if I can find some photos of mainframe here. Because they don't have these sorted out very nicely. Uh, da -da -da, mainframe, mainframe, mainframe. Ooh. So, there is on fucking mainframe... God damn it, where is mainframe? There he is. So there's mainframe as Teletran 1, right? Yeah. But whenever you transform him to fit into the arc, there is a little Teletran 1 on the floor. So, okay, there, there. So there it is, like floor mode, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look, God, it's kind of like down by his finger. It's kind of hard to see. There, okay. Right there underneath his finger is a tiny Teletran 1. Whoa. Yeah, because, yeah, he's Teletran 1, and he's also the Ark's bridge. Right. Yeah. So, the question is, I... does this Teletran 1 turn into a tiny mainframe? And then the mainframe, the, the Teletran 1 on the back of that mainframe. 
does it turn into a tiny mainframe? How far down does this rabbit hole go? The the arc is a scale nightmare. <laughs> that, Especially noticed... because the Beast Wars characters are also a scale nightmare. You know, this is why I never got into the whole scale wars because yeah. shit like this would just like not satisfy any Transformers fan. We're getting yeah. the fragging arc. Yeah. And we can't get any peace amongst the, the shattered fractions of Transformers fandom because we're like, oh, wow, an arc, the first ever that transforms. And it has a Teletran 1 communication panel. But it doesn't scale with the Beast Wars shit and the Masterpiece fig. So uh, burn it all down. Oh, no. Listen, that little, uh, sons of bitches. That you little bridge did. section. And, hmm? and the, the part that I don't get, the part that frustrates me about the scale argument that you know people are like oh well this character has to be this size this character has to be that size you're basing this on the 1984 sunbow cartoon they <laughs> couldn't even keep their fucking scale straight between scenes and shots yeah right I, I, like, but when, there is a scale chart that they're going off of vaguely. like when and they don't uh, even speak yeah. english in 1984 wherever they drew it because i have just the best version of optimus in my mind picking up a, a downed megatron and folding that motherfucker once by flipping him around until that he's a fucking gun. echo is messing with my head man it's all in your head scott you're just high fuck headset <laughs> didn't um I, rem I actually remember uh scenes where it was like Bruticus was standing next to the Combaticons and was the same size as Swindle. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's what? talk about the scene in Heavy Metal War where there was eighteen reflectors on screen at once. <laughs> you want to yeah. talk about? You want to talk about like you know, uh, Army Troop Builder spam? Let's just talk about any of the Netflix series shit where it's just like, oh, we got a ton of weaponizers and half of them are cog that are different colors and somehow. This one cog, even though he's a disposable, you know, CGI model, has to survive so that RC can wield them later. I fucking have a theory about cog and Netflix. That because that motherfucker is really hard to kill. And yeah. I have a theory oh, yeah. that cog and Transformers in the Netflix series are kind of like octopuses here on Earth, where his memory it just like each part of him has like memory. So if you if you just leave a fucking pinky, it's going to regenerate into a fully grown cog. And that's why there's so many of them running around. Cog gets an arm blown he's, off, and all of a sudden, oh, two cogs running he's around. Got, he's got redundant brain modules in all of his limbs. Doesn't that make sense? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. it does, actually. Where did Walter go? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. He, I mean, he disappeared. Yeah. Oh. oh, damn. You probably couldn't anyway, find a that headset. Is, that is a nice bridge when it's uh, laid down and you're able to put your grain size of Optimus in the control seat. I was just gonna say, um, that I just like those little squares are those ports for the tiny slugs? Yes. That's cool. really interesting. So it, it confirmed for sure because I have the Centurion, I have a gray Optimus, and confirmed for sure because I pre ordered. I also get a red Optimus, which I'm not yes. sure is an exclusive to any sort of online retailer, but it's just supposed no. to be included anyway, right? Yep. Okay. It just comes with the arc. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> yep. And Scott yep, yep, yep. has has an exclusive clear version he dug out of his big toe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my god. That's but literally like a saddle glass version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of the arc is the fact that it comes with the golden discs. That's true. Now, but where's my that... Transmetal Megatron? Yeah, isn't that supposed to be a scheme hatched by Megatron? Why Why is it part of the arc? Shouldn't it because be... they, they didn't know where they could throw those toys. I, I mean, if you're giving us the arc, you're giving me so much hope. And even if it's a, just a purple repaint with some heavy reshelling, I'll take an arc redone up as the nemesis. That would be great. Just slim down the body, maybe get the fanboys to shut up about those damn leg gaps, and you got yourself a nemesis. 
I'm never. I'm not bothered by those at all. I know, but I'm, I've still got last week's episode fresh in my mind. We're like, hey, the, the vents are too big on the legs. I thought, like, I thought Trypticon was supposed to be the nemesis. Like his spaceship yeah. mode. No, no, no. It's fucking purple griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Carbomia. Okay. I'll, yeah. I, hey, I'll take it. Carbomia. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, NSA Steve. <laughs> uh, I've been trained since... 1984 to believe Carbomia is a real place. You cannot tell me otherwise. Also, the coronavirus isn't real. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. It's real. <laughs> Scott can confirm it, it, it real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, sorry. My, uh, my uh, friend's husband, uh, his guts are falling out, so I was helping her with that. We also got our first look at Wing Finger. Oh, I love him. <laughs> God damn. God damn, man. Fuck it. I thought we were <laughs> guaranteed Monstructor this year. What's with the horror cons? Jesus Christ. <sighs> I and love them. Mark showed something off. His bong collection. But then after he did that, he showed off the fact that this has a combiner head in it. Yeah, okay. What? Fucking whatever. There it is. Whoa! There it is. Dude. That is, if you take Paleotrex, Ractonite, and Wingfinger, and merge them all together, you get what's called a nightmare. <laughs> I love it. This is the most sober you will ever see marked in your life. Because he's mm, even crazy at what God has done. Exactly. I was going to say, he's, he's quoting Spy Kids 3 right now. <laughs> do you think? So? Oh no, you mean Spike Kids too? Do you? Spike Kids do you think too, God's? Right yeah. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too fear lives in fear what he's created? Yes. <laughs> That's why I stayed in my house. Do you, do you think? Um, do you think you they might have wholesome. seen what a bunch of live, 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 and talk? Okay. I was gonna say it's probably the first toy that's ever had a T Rex for a crotch. Nope. Yes. That is, that nope. is... Yes. I, I can I can guarantee you, Holson, I have an Easter basket I got as a kid that has a crotch forming T Rex head. <laughs> oh my Love god. What Chase, the... he's right. <laughs> Remember? What? Remember what? what? That was the video that made you contact us. Remember? The Transformers with the dinosaur crotch heads. Was that the video? I thought it was the the Abominus one. It might have been, I thought it was from Energon Abominus. I thought it was those uh, those Dinobots. Oh my god, those things are fucking nightmares made flesh. I know which ones you're talking about though. The really bad KO ones. Yeah, Sir Toys. Let's go to Sir Toys. <laughs> we're just gonna put in the word Dino, and we're gonna see what comes up. <laughs> Uh, dino, 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 dino. A lot of Age of Extinction. There they Here, are. Crotchy, crotchy. Yeah. There they are. There it is. Oh, T Rex yeah. for a crotch. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, you think you think kids who got these for Easter were very confused and screaming? Adults, <laughs> adults were. <laughs> <laughs> So like this is I before said, the extinction, and then the combiner is after the extinction. Uh, <laughs> this fucking this. I, I'll tell you what. These little motherfuckers have to be one of the one of the, my favorite parts of my collection. <laughs> you know what the really sad thing is about this? <laughs> this made it to a staged musical on Broadway. Here, here's the thing. Here's what gets mm -hmm. me. Somebody had to sit down. They <laughs> thought of this, designed it, handed it over to an executive. It was approved. They no, prototyped it. it. They you're made high. It, and they shipped I know it for out. a fact you're high. <laughs> None of that fucking happened. This is proof it didn't happen. Dang. I just thought of a. It just. Uh, a rift opened in space and it materialized out of the warp. I know for a goddamn fact, these are the basis for the musical Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark for the character the Lizard. 
I absolutely 100% agree. I True. Just, I just picture like the workers, like the workers they're going they, like, do you think Ted and Design is handling his divorce well? It's... They they could have put the head anywhere else on this thing. This is like those bad Halloween costumes where you get to pretend you're the cowboy riding the, the horse, but it's just, oh, yeah. just your legs sticking through the bottom. <laughs> Anyway, this is my next Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck love getting it. laid. Oh my fucking god. So we did have we did have like the this amazing combiner. And then they showed off fucking tracks. Yay! Oh man, that's so love good track. looking. I know I love tracks. Yeah, this is good looking tracks. That's pretty good god. looking tracks, and I like the fact that like the chest piece, it looks like it can almost be removed. So we might get like a road rage out of this with some more feminine features. Well, I really yeah. like the idea that as colorful as Trax was, his uh, what is it? His Autobot emblem stood out the most, mm -hmm. and they completely and faithfully represented that because I always remember the cartoons had just the Autobot emblem hastily scrawled over the animation. And it was like, okay, they're they're Autobot. That's where their emblem always is. But for Trax, that that was the first time it really stood out with me because they gave it a yellow background. I was like, wow, he's really standing out amongst the pack. Plus, he's a flying car. True. I think he. Yeah. Was he the first triple changer? Uh, I, I would call it like two point five because it was really just a car with wings. It really didn't transform into a jet. Yeah. 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 It was more of a flight mode, not a actual. Like oh, we, jet it, mode. We could, get, we could get prime vehicons out of this. We oh, oh. I, I would like that. I suppose you could. I would like that very much. Selects vehicon. I'm ordering five. Mm -hmm. I, I I like I like how they've they've changed the missiles into more of a turret looking thing. Right. Oh, instead of the the giant mm -hmm. hood. Yeah. He looks so good in hand too, man. That, it's a, that that needs you don't need to see him in a lot of background. Oh my god, I love it. That mm -hmm. needs a that. I don't like that hood. That's mm. all right. I mean, it's yeah, not it's yellow tampograph. I like the wheels too. I think mm. it's meant to look like the animation, isn't it? Uh, I think there was some yellow in the original animation for the hood decal. Hmm. This is this is what Corvettes look like when they hatch. <laughs> a little bit of chest hair. Just a little little larval Corvette. <laughs> Add water, hydro spam the shit out of it. <laughs> hmm. I dig it. I feel like hell. Okay, I'm okay. Come on back, Scott. I like I really like track, so this is this is a really nice surprise. And I didn't even oh, mind yeah. when he was fat body wheeljack reshelled and recolored. You know what? That was not a bad track. And that, dare I say, nope. I think I like that wheel jack. That wheel jack and tracks mode. I like that wheel jack better than the uh, Netflix Earthrise wheel jack. Really? Yeah. I, I thought it was good too. Like the new one better. I enjoyed it. I thought they were good I mean, bolts, yeah. I thought they were, I mean, they're good, but I think I see where Scott's coming. I especially love the fact that old wheeljack before this recent netflix wheeljack had storage in his shell for tools hey, that dude, was yes. very nice don't get me wrong i'm a motherfucker who likes his uh, earthrise generation selects exhaust too that's mm, exhaust exhaust is pretty fucking good Ex i love that yeah yeah not gonna lie it's it's pretty good you know the really sad part scott Someone somewhere, their favorite wheeljack mold is the Combiner Wars version. <laughs> we don't listen to those people. Yeah, we don't. It's, he's got a sword, man. He's got a sword. It's good that was he's, he's a car and a robot and a leg. Wasn't that the worst? <laughs> well, wasn't that the worst of the Combiner Wars cars designs that they used for him? I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the breakdown mold. It's a little fiddly. Here's the that thing. highly illogical hip assembly. Yeah. For whenever it was like the Stunticon mold, I'm okay with that, right? 
because mm-hmm. we'd never really gotten that character before. And what was the fucking mm-hmm. character back in G1? It was a goddamn brick, right? Mm. Yes. Like, its arms moved up and down. That was it. So that gives yep. you a little bit of fucking artistic license whenever you go to make the toy. That was a fine mm-hmm. breakdown. Wasn't a good wheel jack. No. 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 Oh, no, was, no, no, no. was Trax no. part of the fake Minasaur team? Was he part of that episode? I don't. I know. I think <sighs> Sideswipe was Optimus. Wheeljack. Wheel. Mirage. Jazz. Uh, Excuse me. I think. I don't I know. Remember. They used the... I think they used Mirage's ability to mask their identities as the Stunticons, if I remember mm-hmm. correctly. Right. I thought Trax was part of that. I guess not. Hold on here. I'm looking he it up have. right now. Um, yeah, look that up. Let's see here. Japanese Transformers cartoon. Uh, let's see. Sunbo. God, I Walter, remember come back. Tell us the I, I remember... I'm remembering the confused look on Menasaur's face when he saw another Menasaur. <laughs> oh, here we go. His, the cogs were turning in his head. He's like, wait a minute. You're not me. Stunticons looking to find out. Camouflage paint to disguise themselves as Stunticons. Uh, breakdown managed to shake the true Stunticons for themselves. Uh, let's see. The arrival confused Stunticons. Combination of wind chargers, magnetic powers, and mirage illusions. So that was called Masquerade. So let's see here. Mm. So Masquerade, it's a uh, grapple, hoist, and uh, do, 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 do. let's see here. Motor Master who challenges him to a game of chicken. Oh, here it goes. Optimus Prime is Motor Master. Jazz is dead end. Sideswipe is breakdown, Mirage is drag strip, and Wind Charger is wheel uh, wild rider. Boy, they had no concept of who matched what. Nope. I mean, Mirage and Sideswipe and Optimus, yes. Yeah, but I mean, I, guys, I hate to say it, but I think we got to get on Twitter and cancel Sunbow. Enjoy this picture of Monster Truck Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Toys just put that uh, up. <laughs> Who's picking on who now? Yeah. <laughs> so we had Trax. Trax was pretty good. Who the fuck else was in here? Rhinox. Wink. Oh. Oh uh, yes. It's what did no. they do to his chain guns of doom? I don't like this Rhinox. I may cancel my pre-order for Rhinox. I mean, he's fine, but his chain guns of doom are just discs. He's playing frisbee. Fucking selects McDonald's rhino. rhino when? <laughs> uh, I like Rhinox. It's fine. I mean, it's yeah, fine, it, it, but come on, we got a much better Rhinox just a few years ago in, in Thrilling Thirty. It was yeah. no, that was an okay one, but that one had the same problem they all suffered from, which is like they had no idea how to disguise the belly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. It's it's okay, but I don't think it beats the Thrilling Thirty One. No. I mean, I'm not going to be satisfied until the blast effects to fart a giant blue cloud of energy <laughs> come come out. Give it time. The man. one true. The one. So I think this this does the one thing I think this one does a little better than the other one is the you know the uh, the jaw chest plates a bit wider on this one, like on the show. Yeah, but mm-hmm. otherwise it's really no better than the other one. The head the though thing? is a little yeah, odd. It looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine to me. It's not like computer model shiny like they all were. But it's those chain guns of doom that they had no idea how to work in there. No. That just like it makes me upset because those were beastly. They were huge. But the chain oh, yeah. guns were pretty damn good on the thrilling thirty. Except oh, they, they are weren't painted. That was the worst part. Well, they they are on the legends version, but yeah. Mm, yeah. Like I've got them right here. Oh, I love that. We. Spinny, spinny, spinny. See, there we go. Yeah, I've got them right here. Oh, hold on here. 
We spinny, spinny, spinny. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I do love the spinny, spinny on that one. See, and you look mm-hmm. at that, and you look at that. Is that a Voyager or a Deluxe? Yeah. Voyager. Voyager. Mm, so it's the same, roughly the same size as this guy, but this guy is slightly better in many ways. Uh, I would say slightly, like slightly shorter, probably. Yeah, mm. better guns on here, better head um, proportions. I think like bubble guns, like you, you spin them and they're supposed to like blow soap bubbles out of them. Yeah. The body looks a lot more solid, though. I will give it that. Oh, the the paneling mess of Thrilling Thirty was not good. I remember that was a huge ish. Yeah, that. If I could replace the head on this one with the Thrilling Thirty one, it, it'd be perfect. Honestly, by God, you might have something there. Like know, the head on this one is, just seems so. It looks more like. It reminds me more of the Energon, like the Tank the Botcon. No, no, it reminds me more of the Botcon head that was like on the not the Energon landmine, but the right. Cybertron landmine. That's head. yes, yeah. It, there's yeah. something the, off about it. If Rhinox had an uncanny valley, this be tripping it. This is, is like the you, in between head of like. Is that the, of like the is this head feels like it's an in between of the show. In the botcon toys heads. Well, landmine. It was landmine that yellow excavator guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Ooh. that's right. Yeah, I'm thinking. We also got turned into right one of the the best botcon toys, Land Shark. Yeah. It also reminds me that was the Energon version. Still pretty damn good. True. Um, there was Rhinox. They did show off Galvatron, and he looked a lot better. Yeah. But we got Green Glow Vertebrae. This is Draco Dawn. Uh, I like it. I don't. Uh, yeah. I was looking for when I saw the name Draco Dawn in the listings. I thought it would be about the. Uh, I thought it was going to be the saber tooth cat. Yeah. I thought it was that yeah. or the. Well, the saber tooth cat is one that could come apart and become stuff, though. Yeah. Supposedly, mm. if that exists. This is just green, though. Why is it covered in? I thought it'd be. Yeah, I thought this would have been like the one like that was like the alligator or whatever. I think that's what they tried to go for. Is like, no, it's green, like an alligator. I'm I'm getting, I'm getting serious inhumanoids vibes from it. No, they said it's green because it's like radioactive. (sighs) Okay. Yeah. I mean. I'm not going to I'm not going to like turn down new bone formers. Those are a really great line. I know. They're but, some of my favorite parts of Kingdom. But I already have a loose vertebrae, so I think if I ever see Dracodon, it's just going to remain in package and look pretty. Yeah, I'm still going to get it. It's going to be it's going to be a trophy dinosaur, like all my trophy wives that don't exist. Uh true. But you know, it kind of makes sense. It, it kind of makes sense because this Dracodon, I don't know why I didn't say it. Isn't this dinosaur called like Dracosaurus? A Dracosaurus. It's called Dracosaurus Hogwartsi. Yeah. I knew it was something <laughs> like that. Dracosaurus Hogwartsi or Dracosaurus Malfoyus or something. Mm-hmm. Some fucking somebody that just wants to do Hermione three ways to Sunday. No, I've, no, actually, no. I've actually I've actually seen I've seen the fossil of this in person before. I'm, it's yeah. actually believed that. Oh yeah, there's my boy. Yeah, it's believed <laughs> or, a, or, a ca- or a cast of it anyway. It's believed. Yay! Sir, you were oh saying? yeah, it's actually believed the Draco Rex is actually just a juvenile uh, Pachycephalosaur. I've heard that. I've heard that. The same with the Protoceratops is a juvenile Triceratops, and yep. the Triceratops eventually goes into Styracosaurus or Torosaurus. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah, uh, the same. There was a um, what is it called? There was a there was a small uh, ty- a tyrannosaurid that uh, what was it called? Nano Nano Tyrannus. Nano Tyrannus. Nano yeah, which might actually be just a baby T Rex. Yeah. Aww. No. Yeah. But we're like getting... a like a baby version of Soundwave. Speaking of 
Yeah, yeah, like this baby yeah. version of Soundwave. We're getting I a love tiny him. little Soundwave. I want him now. Give this me is my son. Amazing. <laughs> That's Give actually me my pretty child. Good. I think Holy they're starting to remember both That's guns. God damn it. Stop I... talking all over each other. I'll fucking murder each one of you in your sleep. <laughs> 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 Holson, you remember when you were that small? Oh yeah. Just uh, a, that's all I got. I'm sorry. <laughs> just a slug cassette in your dad's. No, but chest. this is really nice. This is the sound wave that I, says, "You ooh. know what? I'll fucking kill you just because you're, I'm small and you're big. I, I've got something <laughs> to prove." This is the sound wave that says, "Brick oven pizza's done, eject." <laughs> <laughs> Does the little laser beak fold out at least? No. No, it's a slug. Oh. It looks you, good though. At least it's painted. Mm-hmm. Do you think they're well, they're yeah. starting to realize that maybe there is some money in the legend scale that they could, you know, cash in on finally? Because like, I mean, you know, it's, it's either that or they had planned for these to interact with the arc and then they said fuck it with the arc and redesign the arc for the <laughs> slugs. <laughs> Because I, I'm wondering, because you know, Iron Factory and other companies have been rolling out Legends-sized figures for a while, and they're they probably saw that and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, it, maybe, maybe people do want those. It's that thing where Hasbro's got the you know the resources and the expendable income, and they said to their marketing guys, we are going to take away these market shares from all these companies that have an idea that's working out. We said this mm-hmm. years ago. That if Hasbro was smart, they'd start picking up what all these third parties are putting down and start doing the same. And it's taken a long time to get to that production point where they have a plan that works, but it's working because there's no way you're going to pay $50 for an Iron Factory sound wave when they got this one on the way. And it's looking pretty good. True. Yeah. Yeah. Might not be as articulated as the Iron Factory one, but it looks yeah. good. I mean, for the price point of what these cores go for, you can't argue. And even though the cassettes are slugs, if Hasbro said, you know what, Pulse exclusive, we're going to make tinier cassettes that transform online only, sold. Yeah. It's that simple. I'll do it. True. You're right. I'll fucking do it. I'll, I'll jump. <laughs> it's also the fact that like Hasbro also has to adhere like with mass retail, they have to adhere to safety standards on like third party companies that fucking can't. That they, they yeah, don't have it's... to because they're like, it's not a third party toy if it unless a child is killed by it. <laughs> it I mean it is it's a bummer because it's like a lot of these cool concepts that when you do a third party thing, they're like, you know, this is more than just an image from like that looks like it's ripped out of a comic book. We're we're gonna make this a three D physical object, and you go, oh, so cool. And then they then they hit you with the bummer part three years from now, and you go, oh, so not cool. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. Hasbro's like, we're you gonna mean like the thing in six months? Hey, at least they didn't make a pro a prototype of it and show it off at a fair like uh, what two and a half years ago, and it has yet to see the light of day. I was, so optimist. I was so depressed. You... I was sitting in this fucking house. Uh, my wife was downstairs. My second wife was downstairs, stoned off her ass, sucking the dick of some other dude. And I, <laughs> I was, I was fucking. I was on the thing. And I went. Uh, my mom's gone. My family doesn't talk to me anymore. I'm being cucked in my own house. Oh look, Beast Wars Neo Unicron. That's awesome. I will have it. This is what I this is what I will live for. And it never happened. Oh, again. you have the third party one? Again. Yeah. Again. Garatron. You know that, we Man. can we can blame yeah. we can blame all that on your last wife if you want, because you're good and high and you won't remember until playback of this episode. Why the fuck? Why the fuck would you go that far and not release it? Like someone's probably they probably lost the factory where they can make the shit or their cat. Thunderwing didn't do well as they thought. I don't know. Maybe it could be tons of issues, which is really why we need Walter here to tell us the inside dirt because Walter knows everything. Walter I know what the fuck back. happened to him. I no. have a, I have a question. I I have a request. Garatron, listen to me. Listen to me right now. I know you're listening to us the same way Impossible Toys did. <laughs> We had a little bit more pull back then. (laughs) (laughs) 
I, I just said it looked like it would break if you dropped it, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the next day, fucking Impossible Toys puts out a video of them spiking their seekers like they're goddamn footballs. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when you bend the ear of TF, WTF at TFW going, oh, there's a podcast I won't listen to, people go, oh, what is this creep show made of? Yeah. Let's find out. Why not release some of those files? Release those files, the STL files, so like we at home, I'll pay a hundred bucks to 3D print my own. Fuck it. Get some would, of the money back, you ninjas. I would love to see <laughs> that happen, but I'm afraid the Chinese triad probably owns those files by now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. You were going to say Thomas. Oh, I was going to say yeah, in the form of a question. Thomas. Do you think what? Thomas. <laughs> I just like the sound of your name. Thomas. Do you, th- <laughs> do you think we could get third party micro cassettes for this or nano cassettes? They'll probably have to. I mean, they have to adapt to survive now because Hasbro wants everyone's bread and butter. And they're like, you ain't getting the money for micro figs anymore. We're doing that shit. So to adapt, it's kind of the thing where blast effects and extra weapons and all those neat little kitschy things you try to mix and match with your toys are going to be the only thing you could probably do really quick. Because you need to turn around and make a profit if you still want your company to thrive. And if you're good enough to make those micro cassettes, hell yeah, do that. Because I would absolutely buy all your stock if I can give Soundwave everything from the G1 cast to Kiss players. It doesn't matter. Just make them and I will buy them. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering Ooh. because, you know, remember the world's smallest Transformers Soundwave? He had transforming cassettes. Exactly. He only had the rabbits. It's. It's doable, yeah. and it's the same thing. It's the same thing with like going back to years and years ago with Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. They're like, "Oh, we can't do that. It's too impossible." Yeah, Get to Cartoni. We can't do that at a Voyager Deluxe Leader Class scale. It can't be done. Here it is at fucking Legends. Yeah, exactly. So small scale doesn't even matter. The engineering is there, and if you're telling me you can't properly replicate, like incredibly tiny cassettes that fold out i'm gonna call you a liar because there's a company that does 3d printing stl life who does massive scale cassettes they've done rumble they've done laser beak and if you're telling me hasbro can't figure out a way to do that on 3d printing and just shrink the shit out of them until they fit into the chest of sound wave you have just lost all your business with me, at least when it comes to micro cassettes. And that's a huge array of characters because you can get blaster out of this too. Uh, and you're going to pass on that? I'm sorry, Holson. What was that? I was, I was cursing because my joints locked up. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh, I just, I think maybe I died for a second. And God <laughs> sounds a lot like you. <laughs> 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 Oh uh, shit! I've always did wonder this. what would Holson's beard feel like in my hand if I could fondle it. Right, right. <laughs> Was there anything else? Uh, hmm. Sound. Oh, fucking shattered glass blur. This is a hey, weird. It's, one. I could care less about it. This is a weird one because the whole thing is you know it's what? the Studio Series version with a UV sticker or something. You know what? I really like this. I, I like the deco. But I really like the look of this. I, yeah. I genuinely uh, would like to get this. Oh, I actually signed up for Pulse to get some of their exclusive shit because I'm like, I ain't losing out on any more of this. So this is oh, one shit. of the things. You're a Pulse I'm member now get. too? I signed up. Okay, come give me a hug. Okay. Fellow Pulse members. <laughs> This is who, who have, nipples against my hard nipples, Xavier. Oh, those are just well, I was gonna say, ain't it free to sign up for Pulse though? It is. No, it's 50 bucks. It was no, that's for like the free, yeah, because I'm on like I've ordered stuff from Pulse. Oh, no, you can order stuff from Pulse, but to like to like get like the uh, the like the first uh, shot at the pre orders. And oh get, yeah, it's like fifty bucks and stuff like that. Yeah, you have to. And you know what? I fucking saved saved the fifty dollars all fucking ready. Mm-hmm. With oh shit. yeah, 
Oh yeah, of course. Deco remind me of who has that Deco? There's a character that has lightning tampographs. It's the Flesh. <laughs> the Flesh. There's a. There's a, a version. There's a. There, there is a version of the um, movie verse Bumblebee that has a tampo like that. Hmm, I think that the other shattered glass blur had that. The one that we don't like to speak of because it was literally one of the worst bot con toys. Yeah. I don't remember this one. It what was year? made from Armada Blur. Yeah, you know, I got no hips and yet I must scream. <laughs> <laughs> and I have hands, yet <laughs> you plugged my guns into my forearms. Yeah, I, what the fuck was that? Shattered it was... Glass... Botcon? Yeah. Blur. yeah he, he, well, actually, he was the Cybertron, the Cybertron version. Because he had a planet key. There he is, you son of a bitch. Yeah. It... <laughs> yeah. Oh it it's a pretty bad. That mold yeah. is cool. What's a mistake? That mold needs a damn, like a big old update. That mold needs a this deviation. This is. In. Look at that. That thing looks like it's I mean... fucking. You could blindfold it with dental floss. He has a that case. Mold is... Is he yeah. mind wipe? Is this like the version of mind wipe that turns into a car? There you go. No, don't you remember there Armada Blur? He had the whole gimmick of you put incinerator into like the back of the car mode, and like the back of the car would flip down, and he'd ha- he'd have a flying car mode. Was that? Did he <sighs> okay. come with and it hampered the I entire figure. A... I think he came oh, with a fun. cyber key, didn't he? He did. That version does because oh, that's okay. the Cybertron retool. This right. is, the original I mean, version. There was a was red back. swerve of that mold too. Yes. That one. Universe. Yeah, that one I believe also came with the Minicon. This is the uh, the two packer that came with the uh, Rampage version, the one that had the mapper. Autobot symbol on its chest hood, like slash through. I believe. I think it was oh. Rampage. No, it was a uh, sideswipe. Side swipe, and they came with a little uh, ravage. I I don't know. Side swipe came with a little tiny stealth jet minicon. Yeah. No, no. As the bot con set, they they did it. The uh, the no, that one. Pick. No, yeah, that one was only those two. Yeah, glit came with hound. Yeah. Oh my god! Plastic hound. I think there was. I think there was one other oh. figure that they showed off here in the panel. I really wish... To, um, was it Jane Silent Bobber getting their own toy? Jesus Christ. They fucking laid this out like a goddamn Go up to man. the list. It should be in the list. Yeah, let's see here. Art, they showed off... Honey Optimus. Oh! Oh, that's Try... the... Uh, triceratops thing. Oh, yeah, the red yes. triceratops. Tricranium. Okay. Yeah, Volcano Dino. Yeah, I he, want that one super bad. He, oh, That's the I other one I pre-ordered. Good. I ordered him. I ordered him. That is just... Super damn. cool. Damn. He looks like that... he tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fruit by, it kind of looks like fruit by the foot, right? Right. <laughs> Except his feet taste like death. Fruit by the foot up your ass, bitch. Hmm. And look at this. He's doing it right. He's got the uh, the Triceratops head as a pylon instead of a crotch piece. Right? He's got the, like, he's <laughs> not, he's not just a repaint. He is a, he's a re- mold of Ractonite. Because Ractonite that... is Styracosaurus. So it is a different figure, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they just remolded the head yeah. piece. God. So it's a Triceratops instead. This is... yeah. This is and like, that took me forever to actually notice. I didn't even notice it. He's got like the prime Predaking colors, like the hot orange lavas and everything. Right? Oh, yeah. And I love his array of blast effects. And I love that there was one photo where they replaced his horns with blast effects. <laughs> I really, really want that one. That marks two uses of that mold. I wonder what else we're going to get. Because Paleotrex is Transmutate, Skelivore, Skelivore. And, and Paleotrex himself. So there's three uses. Fucking wing, 
wing finger is so fucking freaky. I can only think of one of the Crimson Guard from Star Wars because the head's the same, or Alan Baldwin from Beetlejuice when he becomes the chicken monster. Right, or Mangle <laughs> Oh yeah. Walter, thank God you're alive. Hey, he's back. Yeah, my computer fucking blinked out for a minute, and then when it booted back up, it decided it needed to update. Oh, oh. lovely. Oh. Mm. Happened to me before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, what all did I miss? Uh, we uh, Scott went on a... With the art, and oh, God damn the, the echo! Sorry. <laughs> we... We covered the arc. You blinked out at that point. We did a mini core version of Sound Wave. Really awesome. Uh, Shattered Glass Blur. I'm cool with that purchase myself. And we covered Wing Finger. And now we're here. And Scott went on a tirade about why Garatron didn't put out the uh, Beast Wars Neo Unicron. Yeah. You know, his once a month ah. rant. Yeah. I'm high as fuck right now. He's also Walt- high as fuck. Yeah. Hey, Walter, do you yeah, got an yeah, explanation yeah. for that Beast Wars Neo Unicron? Like, why they didn't, like, Garatron Walter. made made a freaking prototype but never put it out? Uh, probably because the third party market decided <clears> that <throat> that nobody wants anything but G1 masterpieces. Yeah. I hate the third party market. Just for that. I'll- Although, Dang. you know, there, there, there is a section of it that is specializing in other stuff, which yeah. I'm starting to appreciate. Which, 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 only came around in like, which only came around in recent years. Yeah. Like, back, yeah. Like back when Garatron was... Well, that and Garatron really doesn't exist anymore, do they? Because no. they, they made their Thunderwing, showed us the prototype for Unicron, and then promptly fucking died. Yeah. They, they went back to their home planet. Yep. They teased Scott and uh Yeah. <laughs> and it I was need, I need to fucking do some some goddamn investigation work and see if I can't if I can't figure some shit out here. Hey man, maybe Paul knows something. Know. He's over this, there. This tar- triceratops with his dino bot like spinal tail lance is amazing in yellow. God I love it. Also, I love it too. Have you that weapon when he when he's holding it in robot mode? That looks noticeably more threatening when it's in molten colors. Mm. Yeah, very. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> like this is going inside of you, and it will burn the whole way through. That kind of makes me bite yes, my exactly. lower lip and quiver in joy. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, this yeah. is bend over. It's time for the <laughs> lava pipe. <laughs> I'm going to put a massive hole in you, and it's going to cauterize itself as I go. Oh, someone's into extreme sounding. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love it's, that stock uh, photo of him like... attaching like the bluish effects out of his horn holes. Yeah, I, I was saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it in this set of photos? It is not. Oh. You were saying Olsen. It's gonna be just like when uh, Qui Gon uh, Jin was cutting through that door. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's doors. still coming oh, through. We're yeah. space racists. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the space Jews. I can't wait for. Jesus. I thought it was. I can't wait for George Lucas to make his giant monster <laughs> film now that Godzilla's popular, so that we can finally have have the term Sky Jew. There literally was a there, there literally was an alien race that was like that in the Clone Wars cartoon. They were they ran the banking clan and they had the Munalists. Yeah, the the Munalists. Yeah. The yeah. Spot Spot fucking Watto was a Jewish stereotype too. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, wow! Look at them blast <laughs> effects, boy. Yeah. That's a lot of blast effects to. Uh, That's... I I'm kind of I. I don't. Want it's supplemental. Blast I mean, honestly, if you got like one of the. Those... Blast thing is like ever ever since Siege started and started giving us blast effects with like the battle masters and whatnot, people on the message boards have been saying, "Hey, uh, can can we just buy a box of these?" This is Hasbro doing that. It took them two years to do it, 
But here they are giving us the box of blast effects that people wanted. I approve I, the um, facts. Oh, go ahead, Xavier. I'm sorry. Everybody keeps cutting me off. You poor man. It's okay. Uh, I I have no ill will towards my clan here. Uh, but it's it's kind of like weird because they said, okay, you can have the blast effects, but then they pack it in with just the hot lava triceratops, and I'm going uh, I kind of want the Triceratops more. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, too. I would I, actually I mean, love I... to see the other the other fossilizers and hot lava collars as well. Oh, True. Yeah, that, that's Ooh. kind of what I was saying, too, is when they revealed Tricranius here is, I want, I want Wingfinger and Paleotrex in this same deco. So right? I can make the combiner in that deco. You can it would it. be... You can redo the fucking heads. You could make like uh instead of wing finger being a pteranodon, you can make him like a fucking pterodactyl or raptorhynchus. Oh you could turn God, that you could or turn a Quetzalcoatlus. Paleotrex into a serratus, serratosaurus, cratopsis, finis, finis. Dude, this color scheme, if you did that and you combine them all together, you get multiples, you have yourself a hot lava ancient dinosaur predicang. Right? Every time There's, we make or like a, a, dino, or like a Dinobot version of the Fallen. Ooh. If if they were to do another fossilizer, I would really like to see an ankylosaur. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. paddles. Hot lava I, underwater paddles. That too. That too. I say take it a whole different direction and just redo all the Bone Age figures from Kenner. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I, I I really want like a fossilizer Dunkleosteus. A Dunkleosteus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's a placoderm fish. It's a big armored looking fish that has jaws that look like shears. Okay, hold on. Is a it's a horrifying looking creature. Let me ask you this: What's its Pokemon number? Seventy-nine thousand. <laughs> I've actually put my head in the jaws of a Dunkleosteus skull. On a whim? Did you lose a bet? Were you drunk? Were you high? There we go. Well, it was a cast of the skull, but it was to scale. Yeah, that thing. One yeah. fishy nightmare. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. And see what I mean when I say that the scale. Uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, this is the uh, this is the form they based the uh, the bone form of your shark on in that high wire game. Oh, where you get to play man in man eater. The shark simulator. You see what I what I mean when I say like the jaws look like garden shears or something. It's horrifying. God's yeah. emo face. Ooh, imagine <laughs> that on your hand, and then its mouth just opens and shoots a laser. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not a laser. A tractor beam that pulls you in towards those jaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just shit my pants then, a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to anybody. And then the mouth just closes periodically, cuts the beam off, giving you the slight bit of hope. Maybe just, you can just ever so just ever so slowly, you're gonna get the clamp. <laughs> my name ain't I actually Francis. have I actually have a model of one of these fish actually sitting on the dash of my car. Jesus, nice. man. Yeah. Do you give a hard stare just... to people when they Give you a hard time in traffic. It's got a little Here, bundle of lavender in its mouth. Here's a here's <laughs> something that I found interesting. We got images of 86 uh, liter class slag. Do you know? It's happening. You know who had it. this? Do you know who had this up for Sabertron T formers or TFW 2005? Twitter. Good morning, Cybertron had it up before that. Oh, oh my, oh my. Hmm. It's uh it's it's looking pretty fly for a Stego guy. Right. This makes me really excited because what I'm seeing here is that all of the Dinobots are going to be big. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They listened. They finally your, listened. Your giga power from whatever mastermind creations or third party bag cube don't mean shit now. Yeah. Not really. Nope. Um, <laughs> if I if I get all if I get all these, I don't. I probably won't feel like I need any of the others. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean, the Planet yeah. X ones are based off of the video game design, so at least those are still somewhat viable. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will it be uh, called Slag officially? I, I hope so. We don't know yet. We've just got pictures of the toy, not of the packaging. Yeah. 
Ah. I really hope so. But the uh, the Amazon listings that we saw previously did say slag with Daniel. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Nice. laughs> I suspect that in some countries it'll be slug. I just I, because I really look forward to the Thu review of slag. If it happens, yes, sir. I don't know why they didn't call him Smolt? Because at least it'd be related to slag. <laughs> True. Uh, or sla- no, well, I guess slag pile would be too harsh. You know that when I no no when I when I was a little kid living in Germany and uh, we were at school, they asked me what my favorite transformer was, and I said slag, and I got in trouble. Oh, that sucks. That's like <laughs> getting in trouble for get uh, answering a question that asks your opinion. Yeah. What's your favorite transformer? N word re retard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah. so well it was not okay to say that in germany so even in germany because yeah. they fucking yeah, fought that's surprising. Uh, england and they right. don't like each other yeah you know what 40 years I ago know. you guys were carrying out the ultimate solution now i can't say slag that's great <laughs> the only yeah. man i love this thing i love the way it looks my biggest complaint is daniel <laughs> yeah uh, it, yeah, that, that Daniel could have been a sword. Yeah, it's, yeah. Doing, they did it again. What? They're, now, I, I now can see what's happening watch, now. Sludge and Snarl, or, or Sludge and Swoop are also going to come with stupid little like driver figures or partners or something. And then yeah. we, when we finally get Snarl like a year later in like Generation Selects or something, he's just going to come with all five swords. Do you know I, I probably you know what? is another weapon pack? Do you know what I would love to see in a couple of the upcoming ones? And I think it would be appropriate. A couple of fucking um, like Quintesson slugs. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Right. Yeah. Like, honestly, honestly yeah. Slag should have come with like a Quintesson prosecutor to smash under a door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's the what the background is. Now with door busting accessories. Yeah, I hope just, that's what the background is for him. Yeah, that yeah, just have just have the door be the backdrop and include like a half smash Quintesson prosecutor, so you can reenact the excuse me line. What if there's? <laughs> I love that. What if that's just recreated in the packaging where it's just like here's here's the toy on a slight incline because it's actually standing on top of another toy. You know, that'd been great. What could have been in an alternate universe? Yeah. Yep. Damn, he looks good, though. Oh, boy. If, just think if of that, Slug, Scott. If oh, Slug doesn't come with googly eyes for the getting <laughs> absolutely wrecked by Devastator scene, I'm going to fucking riot. I, I think, Yeah, those googly eyes are important. I think all the I funny agree. stuff we love about Transformers, all the goofiness, at some point... They're going to go magic unglued and release all this stuff and go, here's a basketball for Optimus. Here's some googly eyes for your slag. Here's a drunk Megatron face. Here's after a cup of box marked shit piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. We also got the uh, the Takar Tomy web manga. Oh. Oh, that thing is a oh, crazy... That's crazy. Primac- that's Primacron. Mm, if you go you over to, if you go over to Four Chan, um, uh, first off, uh, here on Four Chan, they're talking about Doctor uh, Distar's Joint Fixer Elixir, and somebody said, "What's in it?" And the first quote is mine: "Fantastic! Some snake oil salesman selling fifteen cents worth of Pledge Future in ten cent bottle to autistic retards for uh, thirteen bucks. More power to him." Um, but. <laughs> Love it. If you go over here to uh, to Toy, they actually have some translations of the uh, of the uh, where is it? There it is. Towards the end of the Toy form, they have some translations here. Of uh, not porn. Good job, Fortune. Yeah, I'm sure there's porn in there someplace. I I want to say I, I I know the gist of the the story. Like uh, I I was reading some. Of the translations, yeah. So it's uh, the just some wildness. Shit's fucked up. Yeah, 
it, the story is it's basically a like this is the universe before the G1 cartoon. Mhm. And then like that's Ooh, how Primus cool. becomes like Primacon's Primacron's assistant. They just it, if if you it's, it's like sorry. a self-fulfilling prophecy or something like that. Primus ends up making Unicron and it's like whole thing of try, like, trying to get rid of evil. He ends up making Unicron in the next universe. It's some wild crazy goofy. <laughs> it's basically off his chest piece. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but if you go back, if you if you go back to that part where it's showing Piranicon, the uh that's that's not Piranicon that you're seeing there. Um, that, yeah, he's combined with the other ones. That's Scramble 7, the most powerful combiner. <laughs> Available exclusively at a garage sale in Poughkeepsie in 1987. <laughs> yeah, I, I think yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Scramble 7. He's got. Uh, it is. No, it is. That's, yeah, that's it exactly is. what the Katakana says. Scramble 7. Oh. Uh... Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I get high, I get very racist. Well, I I think you get less racist, which is even more shocking. Yeah, maybe I less just become self aware of everything that I'm saying. <laughs> uh... Gold, lucky draw, gold, mega. Okay, come on, he's Optimus is literally doing the white man dunk from that one episode there with his star piece chest. Come on, I I found it That's extremely awesome. interesting that they took Beast Hunter's ratchet and turned him into a Megatron. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The the green one that came out Ooh. in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> literally this comic is uh this the this whole comic series was literally Takara being like, Hey, let's get our G one uh continuity one Japanese continuity, uh let's fix it up a bit. Let's Yeah, good <laughs> luck with that. I they didn't rubbery. really do that. They just kind of Threw a cinder block in the bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> On top of the now, baby. the cinder block is your god. Also, I can't help but but uh, feel that Star Convoy using his chest piece like a pickaxe it is a sly nod at how fucking easy that part breaks. Oh, does it? First thing, the first thing I thought of was um, you remember you ever watched Gao Gaigar? Yeah, yeah, uh, Volfog's Silver Moon attack where he's got the giant shuriken. <laughs> I love, yes. I loved this part where, uh, where I think it was Optimus shot Unicron's face off. Yes, <laughs> they have to show that part of the toy somehow. Yeah. Wait, I, I was reading what it said. Oh, sorry, I'll go back. As a matter of so, fact, if you want, there. So. <laughs> <laughs> no face. Is that triple what it says? Z... No face. No, it just it just reminds me. Triple triple Z point. Triple point Z. <laughs> I just had this picture in my head of Unicron with no face saying, Great job, Primus. You got my shirt wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh the the attack Optimus Unleashes is called Triple Z Point. So triple, like, zero-point energy, I think, is what they're going for there. Like, triple-powered, zero-point energy. Well, I was going to say, if it's triple Z, like, maybe Z, it, like, isn't that, like, a re isn't Z a reference to, like, the Z sword or something? Zodiac uh, energy, maybe? maybe? It, yeah, because it Diatlas. It's the Zodiac killer. <laughs> oh, God. Ted Cruz? San Francisco? <laughs> Yep. I don't think Ted Cruz was the Ted. killer. I just think he's an imitator. <laughs> I mean, like hey. Woody Allen movie. Yeah. About the tarot killer. Yeah. Let's see here. I mean, hey. There's a whole bunch it's of Ted nothing Cruz. going on here. There's my lovely wife waving hello to me. She walks by. Hi, lovely wife. She, they said, hi, lovely wife. Hello, everyone. Uh... Oh boy, why does your lovely wife sound like Ariana? Right? <laughs> <laughs> does she oh, know about you two? I think so. I think so. I, somebody, I was telling my friends, I said, I'm going to get vaccinated here on Tuesday and I'm just going to fuck strangers in the street. And they said, well, what about Ariana? I said, I ain't touching her. She's not vaccinated. 
<laughs> Cold-blooded. I, uh... Yeah, I'm just happy to see Straxus. I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping we get a class Straxus here out of the Galvatron. Wait, why is... Oh, oh. Magna Convoy's part of, the, like, the Rainbow Brigade of these fucking yeah, like, lanterns. Is there two Straxuses there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't... I don't know why there's two Straxuses. I just know that there are two Straxuses. Okay, hold on. Let me, it's the let me American Straxus and the Japanese Straxus. Uh, so, so they're canonically different characters. Straxus and Distraxus. Yes. <laughs> I guess you could make one Straxus and one Dark Mount. Yeah, yeah. you could. You could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you really just want to keep the trademark, yeah, that's what you would do. Which is calling one calling Straxus Dark Mount. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I get why they did it. But naming naming the character after the the house he lives in is weird. Like I'm not gonna I, I'm gonna insist that I not be known as six twenty three Maple Avenue. You know? <laughs> uh okay, so after a brief look at the text, maybe Walter knows, but for some reason Straxus is saying something about an oracle. Hmm. Uh yeah. Vector Oracle's the name of the green not, uh, nightstick repaint. Yeah, that's Primus. Yeah. Okay. The God God. Okay. Oh, fuck okay. This. this is this got weird. We do uh, we do have images now of the X trans bots. Uh, X I X Le Pulpe. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they have blast effects. Not as cool as the flaming lava Tyrannosaur or. Uh, Triceratops. Does this one have a little this, this is uh this is X Transbots. It has the best blast effect. It yeah, actually this... fucking explodes. <laughs> uh <laughs> Dr. Egg. Someone had to say it's blood grenade. Blood everywhere. So realistic. <laughs> hey Scott, you want to get the guy on the show who actually had his Dr. Egg explode and compare scars like it's that one scene from Jaws? I'm actually trying to get somebody on the show right now. His name is uh, let me let me look him up here. Oh. His name is Gary Chalk. <laughs> and if somebody knows how to get a hold of this guy, I I really want to interview this guy, uh, Fred Only Perry. Fan. He's a Transformers artist, and a huge amount of the Transformers porn that you see is drawn by him. Uh, I know exactly who you're talking about because my friend I... tortures me by sending me the the pictures of RC and Arachnid and Jack. Yeah, so I'm yeah. thinking I'd love to have Fred Perry on. Uh, I, yeah, I've actually, sure. I think, I think I know which uh, uh, artist you're talking about. I think. Thank God I don't. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't I worry, something. Xavier. I'll send some to you later. Yeah. Is it? Oh, thank you. You son of a bitch. It, is it? We, hey, is remember when? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, it is weird. Say... Oh, I was. I was gonna ask though. Is it weird that I feel like my model of the prosecutor looks better than this? No. Well, I mean, this one's meant I mean, to this... explode. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you just have pride in your work, so that's nothing like to say is like, oh, I think mine's better. That's just normal psychology. Chase, you were but, gonna say, remember what? Hey, remember when uh, Pete would just uh, have yaoi pictures <laughs> all the time? Uh, I remember the very first thing Pete was like gonna cross the line with was a transforming crystal purple dildo. Oh yeah. Oh, Nexus Maximus. And that's right. Before there was a, such a thing. <laughs> Speaking of which, this this should really come with a Kiss Players version. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped around the tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> a little word balloon in Japanese that goes, Itai, yata. I'm looking up Fred Perry Transformers. Oh, right God. I didn't realize video. that's not a blast effect. Fred, that's Coom. Fred Perry actually... Tim. Did the art for uh, Robotech Saga, and does the art for Steam Wars, the the Star Wars uh, like steampunk thing. Did a little bit for Thundercats, and it's looking like he's currently working on Gold Digger, the comic book. Oh, so I've kind of jacked off to his stuff before. Yeah. Are we sure it's not a different Fred Perry? <laughs> oh no, it's the same Fred Perry. He's the one oh, that it? did the uh, Lazy Town You Are a Pirate animated music video that everyone went crazy for. He's a... 
No, he. This man knows his stuff. Oh yeah. I would love to interview this dude. And he. Well, he I looks, think he looks like a man's man. I mean, look at this. Oh, can't put that over there. Hold on here. Let's just put view image up here. Right there. He looks like a. I will take no shit and. And you're, I think we just got to get in contact with his agent and let him know just for a bunch of white men, we're not going to do anything to harm him. Just go, you know what? Scott's married to a black woman. You want to come on? Mm hmm. He's like, uh, Transformers fan? Nah. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. We're not just Transformers fans. We're perfect. We're the worst. A we're, lot. The, we're the worst. We're just we, fucking horrible. We're bad. Uh, I, you know what? I've got my impossible toys prosecutor. I kind of like that better than this. I mean, I, 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 I kind of like my Quintesson Pit of Judgment. And I have mine up right now for comparison. Let's see that shit. Yeah. 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 That's better. Yeah. I like the noodle arms. Much, much more threatening. Uh, well, I feel like the ones on the on, on I feel like the the ones we just saw the X Transmods one. I feel like the tentacles are too thick. They are. Yeah, and those, the lower and the lower torso is too small. Those those X Transpot ones are too yoked. I like how yours are thinner. Mm, yeah, they are still maybe a bit long though. No, that's great. I mean, they got to have reach. My initial uh, intent was to possibly give it the ability to sort of balance on them, maybe. But uh, excuse me. Yeah. This is a really nice looking Beyblade. Like mm. those kids. <laughs> Did you ever see the the uh, the eBay listing of the kids that ruined the bathtub with their Beyblades? No. <laughs> what? Hold on here. That if that's I a thing. Beyblade and bathtub. <laughs> ready for this so the story is yeah there it is so the story is this woman like the, her kids ruined the the bathtub with their beyblades right oh they were bouncing them off the tile and right. everything so she puts the beyblades up for sale to replace the the bathtub right and she snaps a photo of her kids holding up the beyblades as they're crying <laughs> right <laughs> now what like george here on the left i mean he's fucking devastated but if you look <laughs> down here like the, the kid holding the bag himself devastation nothing he is plotting revenge and revenge <laughs> was gotten revenge was absolutely gotten they, these people, like 4chan got a hold of this and went, you son of a bitch. And they bid it up to a non-paying auction of just south of a million dollars for the Beyblades. And then went, nope. nope. <laughs> and to this day, like I've heard like to this day, the woman still gets like messages about this. Like some, some of them like calling her people doxed her. And the hilarious thing was, like, people people would write to her and go, like, uh, first off, condolences on the bathtub. Secondly, I run a construction company that deals in uh, deals in teardowns. How many of these suckers do you think I need to let rip to to, to clear out the third floor of the warehouse? That's well. <laughs> Are you showing images? Oh shit! I guess I am not. My apologies. Here yeah, I was wondering. He's sure, describing all this. I'm like, there's no visuals. I am sorry. So yeah, there is, there's Beyblade's bathtub boy. There he is on the left <laughs> crying. There's Lake George is devastated, but his his brother is getting revenge. Damn. Yeah. That's fair. And, and 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 why did this happen? Because Use they the bathtub to battle their Beyblades, and those things are actual metal. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, there are. I think a, a few designs like, that have like metal cores. Right? They, they wanted my Beyblades. I gave them their blood. There you go. Forty grand dollars, <laughs> grand, bro. <laughs> oh my god! Like, there, was, there was a lot done with this. 
<laughs> that one kills me. <laughs> and him. Bag. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> one, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have never heard of it. Like it, it no. sold for $999,999. <laughs> and, and then, of course, you know, they didn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought that, uh, you know, a Beyblade, even with metal sides, would be able to do any damage to a bathtub. That's incredible. Let's see here. They Bay spin Blade. really dang fast, dude. <laughs> well, I know. I know. Not one by itself, several. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the uh, thousand cuts kind of deal because I think mm-hmm. even the metal ones, even the metal ones, the, the edges are not they're not sharp, they're blunt, but you're still beating uh, a grout finished bathtub to death yeah. with high powered yeah, ammunition. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter how sharp something is, once you accelerate it past a certain speed, it'll do just as much damage as a cutting implement. Yeah, uh, sure. I'm, I have my own. Yeah, I, I've got an angle grinder, so I know what you're talking about, I think. Yeah, Is there see. a picture of the bathtub? Let's see what the damage I was. I don't think there was, because th- this woman, she ended up she ended up fucking fucking just not not going on e- the online anymore. She <laughs> left. She <laughs> left. God damn, those kids must have like super strength. I wonder yeah. how long they kept this up before the damage was like visible. Yeah, it was. Oh my god! Yeah, that was some. That was some good stuff. All she had to do was buy them a Beyblade arena. Right. I bet that was their revenge for like you know her not buying one. It was messing up the bathtub. To, uh, to look at what I found, I guess the Beyblade bathtub is gonna be my look at what I found. Thomas, motherfucker, do you have a look at what I, I found? You surly so. Well, I have. I have, I have something to show off. I showed it to you earlier. I did a, a concept sketch for a powered buggy. It's your art? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Hey. Dude, okay. you need to start doing Yeah. Get Fred Perry's um, attention. I've never gone that far, but I have done pinup before. Chase has done I, I, too, I know. But that's, we're I, talking about something I, I, different. I, I, I know for certain that um, there's money in all of that. You can you can actually make a lot of money doing that. Doing porn, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, just it depending and it depending on how far you're willing to go. Like, I mean, if you like, if you know, all the way, baby. I want to hold hands. Yeah, they're they're. Oh yeah, if, if, if you if you pander. Pander to a very specific fetish, you're set for life. Oh yeah, there's a. That's that's what I mean. Yeah. There's a there's a specific fraction of bronyism that paid out the oh. ass, and one guy retired, retired in his mid twenties off of pony porn. The thing is, I don't really want to do things like that. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> there are a few people who. Yeah. Oh come on, Thomas. What's the cost of your soul anyway? Dude, if I can <laughs> fucking retire by doing a couple pony porn pictures, fuck yes. Well, maybe. Fuck yes. Oh god, it's it's only you only have to do pony porn a few times. I guess mm-hmm. I guess that's the advantage. Is yeah. you really don't have to do it that much, right? Chase, <laughs> buddy, you develop you and I found. Nah, I don't got nothing. That's okay. How about you, Holson? Nope. Aww. Xavier? What's up? Hey, how's it going? Not much. You? You're looking yeah. better. I'm Healthier. Not, well, it's called it's Stronger. Like marijuana and the hydrocoda. Faster. More alive. I mixed the two. Have you been taking the nuclear? Oh. Dude, dude. Action Master, I found out today, it's calling someone an Action Master is a racial slur on Cybertron. <laughs> Dude, don't use the hard R. You gotta call me my action master. It's... <laughs> <laughs> you have a look at what I found? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with no. 
Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. How about you, Walter? Uh, okay. So I was looking at uh, the tracks that we got shown off last uh, Friday. Okay. And a thought occurs to me. Tracks is essentially a car and flying machine triple changer, right? Are you thinking yeah. are you thinking Omnibot? Oh. Uh no. no, I'm thinking Star Drive from the ROM versus TF crossover. Hey. Oh. And you can actually get two different repaints out of this. You can get her in silver in her Soul Star Knight form. Or do her up in like blue and teal and then include a fossilizer with her to do her dire wraith form. Ooh, oh. that's that's a good looking one. I would love more fossilizer. I could see uh, this being sort of reshelled as that. Yeah. Like th- like here's a image of the car mode. It's not quite as tracksy as we'd like, but you know, triple changes into a flight mode and here we have a car that triple changes into a flight mode well i mean mm-hmm. child I'm, and, yeah but with, with enough we, reshelling it, it could still work yeah and we kind of know already that trax is bound to get a road rage repaint at some point uh, relax i bet and no, the I precedent never. and the precedent has been set by the masterpiece toy where they also retooled it to make it look more feminine they did actually yeah yeah, because the masterpiece that gave uh, Road Rage more rounded thighs. <laughs> it's not the, that's not the only thing they're redone. There's uh, reason. That's just the part that sticks out to me for obvious reasons. Yeah, with the Road Rage masterpiece, um, they literally the the interior part of the cab was <laughs> was redone, so it actually looks like weird octagonal cleavage. It's pretty weird. <laughs> Rich Corinthian leather. I insist that all my cleavage be at least pentagonal. <laughs> no more ninety degree angles for me, thank you. Yeah, really. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a man. Yeah, she's I'm even man. got like she's even, she's even got the the wheels on her shoulders just like tracks here. Oh yeah, and the wind and the windscreen tummy. Yep. <laughs> you, she knows what guys like windscreen tummies. No peeking, boys. <laughs> Are you looking straight through my knee caps? Oh my god. Hey, what we have here, Walter. Did you get any reinforcements this week? Oh, oh, I've I, I've been doing a lot of horribly irresponsible spending with my stimmy check. Right oh brother. no. This man. Uh, well, let's see. First off, we've got Generation Selects Deep Cover. Yay. Okay. Nice. We've nice. got the Walmart Deep Cover. <laughs> What's the point of the Walmart one? Why is it blue? Because, because, because we need a blue Lambo Ranger. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We got Shit Piece. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I saw that in stores today. And hey, hey! I I did not pick up the Cheetor because I already have a Cheetor. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got Mastermind Creations Chrome Dome and Rewind. Oh, oh they love us. Mm-hmm. They hold me in like lovers. Stick your dick into my dick. <laughs> Car Legends, great shot. Yeah, I'm, man, I want that figure. How'd you find yours? TF Source. Okay. Hmm. What is that noise? Oh, I got Transformers X Gari Coon. The ice cream pop. The ice cream pop. <laughs> oh. oh. I, I couldn't find the purple one that showed up in the Sakamoto comics because I suspect the Sakamoto comics increased demand for that one and. Made it disappear from the fucking internet, but did you? The did you get yours? One's still, still neat. Did you get yours in the original like uh, wrapper packaging? Yes. Yeah, the fact that it's a transformer toy that comes in a resealable baggie. <laughs> I know. 
That's what made I me get it. Too. And I also got TFC Perseus. Oh, oh yay. For, nice. Did you get that That's for a song? A did you get it for Steel? No. <laughs> good man. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> I thought he was going for pretty cheap, though. Not too long ago. Uh, like about on BBTS. A, about a, about a year ago, BBTS and TF Source and all the other online retailers were unloading them for like 200 bucks, but I was broke as fuck at the time, so I couldn't indulge in that. So, yeah. Um, I, I, I got some free money from my government, from my failure of a government. So, you did not get free money. They just gave you the money back. True. It, it, it was a refund for the toaster not working, right. basically. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Ted Cruz. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> right on. Xavier, buddy, nice. how about you? Reinforcements? Yeah. Uh, I got one, and I think he's, I think the only other person who knows about this has to be Walter, but Million Publishings put out a train bot. And a while ago, someone put theirs up on eBay. And I was just like, I've never seen this thing before in my life. All I know is that like every now and then million publishing will put out something and it's like, you can get go shooter or you can get a clear star scream. That's by that has a ton of weapons, but I had no idea who Shoki was, but apparently he was based on Astro train, the deluxe mold. And they gave him a PCC fig that was supposed to be Daniel or spike. And I was like, all right, I'll gamble. And I got him. So I now own a I don't own the train bot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, chuck only chuck one I, motherfucker. I the only he's, uh, one I've ever ever seen. And and that, that figure you're talking about, Shoki, his shuttle mode is based on the the, the colors are based on the Micromaster Sky Stalker, I believe. And the and his little arms micron guy is based Right, and the little right. and the little orange dude is based on the little orange car that it comes with. Exactly, off of and the sky, off of the Sky Stalker MicroMaster. Yeah, and he has no feasible and I way. And I absolutely love that they chose the specific, really bad Power Core Combiner Minicon that they did, because you can get like a Catalan mode out of it. Exactly, <laughs> and no the, the, feasible way to those who don't know their train terminology it's the part of the train that connects it to the fucking trolley line to give it its power yeah mm-hmm. it is just the most unyieldy awful piece of crap that you can't fit on the train mode so i yeah. had to get creative with it and i decided all right he's just gonna ride the gun that pegs onto the back and now with his arms sticking out he looks like a pair of sail fins so that's how he'll remain and after I got him, I found Siege Refractor. So I got the SDCC set. Love that. Oh, so nice. I oh, got the one that comes with the extra camera bits? Yes, sir. Even, oh. a, even a little crimsy. I want that one. It's kind of it's 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 interesting how wildly different each one of those look. They look much yeah. better, in my opinion. They look really good individual mode-wise. Uh, deep mm-hmm. cover as well. G2 Megatron as well, and just the other day, doing the hunts, I was I was looking. I was like, maybe I'll be able to complete Studio Series 86, get my blur, get my cup, and there was fucking Iaconus. What? So after all that talk about, hey, we never saw Iaconus. I found an Iaconus. God damn man. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, want an Iaconus? There was another one. No. Uh, how about you Olson what's your reinforcements for this week Um, I got a box waiting for me at the post office so I haven't got anyone yet but tomorrow I will right on right on Chase how about you buddy Uh, I got in my uh, my Huffer Inferno in an Air Razor Mm -hmm. from Best Buy so Wave 2 is all caught up Mostly. Uh, and yesterday when I was out, I found two DCS guards and the sparkless barricade. Ooh. 
And I found Red RC for like new in box for nine bucks. <laughs> uh, you paid you paid eight dollars too much. I think you paid ten dollars too much with tax. I actually like that figure. The you only thing I it. enjoy with that is the fact that if you are able to get the Cheetor in that line as well, you can swap chest plates with her and Cheetor. Yeah, that that part I found a little weird. I was like, why? I also Which... found weird that the little effect pieces are gray. Yeah, uh, they're the same gray as the blades, and I'm like, why? It showed as purple on the box. Gray blades, probably. Yeah, just yeah. photo touched up or something. I bet. See, the part I really hate is the fact, like the way her wrists or her guns are. They just snap into her wrist as if it were like another wrist, and I was like, damn. And the same thing with the uh, the blades; they just like peg under her arm, and it's not even like a five millimeter port. And I'm like, "Damn, Hasbro! I really wanted this as like a weapons pack for my actual Prime RC." Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, probably for the best. Yeah. Probably some share engineering from Revenge of the Fallen Optimus with his flip out accessories. Yeah, it's still a good figure though. I also have the red sound wave, and they're. Like that line's fine. It's good for like really poseable figures, but it's weird. Like it's very I, weird. I saw them yeah, but online. The, the deluxes and voyagers that we have already are already really poseable. Yeah. In fact, some of the deluxes that we just showed off today are more poseable than the red figures. Plus they transform. Didn't know True. if you knew that. Yeah. And I think it's more of a if you want if it, you wanted to look really, really show accurate, because RC Except looks like she's not show accurate though. Cheetor has this weird athletic build and not the weird gangly kid build that he had in the show. Mm. I don't know mm. about Cheetor. RC is pretty damn accurate though. Like, I'd, which like, I'd, which I'd, RC I'd is more, like? I'd be more red, okay with red. red if it had more designs from like non-transformer transformer characters like. Autobot X or some Quintessons. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would make more sense for it, honestly. Yeah. Or hell, yeah. give us like Kranich, like actually that I can't get in the main line. Mm. Get, bro, give us an actual Kranich. Also, what were they thinking, calling it red and not Scramble City? Because you can swap around pieces. You said, um, sorry, I'm not clear on what which version this is. Which RC is this? The Prime Red RC. R E D. Oh, the, the red one, one that doesn't transform. Well, posable figure. Oh, this. Okay, yeah, I see. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Robot yeah. something design. What robot is it? Robot enhanced design. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing enhanced about it. No. Yeah. Not really. Enhanced, enhanced would would make it seem like, hey, this is better than the regular Transformers figure. It's not. They really were it's strong not. for an acronym. To match Target's brand. Yeah. Sorry that you have to suffer is, through that as well, Tom. This is one of those things where they came up with the acronym first and worked backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Blue Department Store. Here you can find some stuff you can't find at Red Department Store. Yeah. That's cool. Like, 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 like this is Shield all over again. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that stuff. Uh. <laughs> And on that note, I've got a skedaddle. Skedaddle, have, have a good day, good Walter. Class. I want to give you a hug. Anyway. Maybe Tom someday. Yay. <laughs> Thomas, buddy, Later. getting reinforcements this week. Four things. Uh, Kingdom Inferno, great figure. Ooh, I like. Great figure and Kingdom Dinobot, fantastic figure. Yeah. I get um, those like, two on Friday. Oh, almost good. as good. I feel like it's almost as good as the um, masterpiece, really. Like you know, not nearly as many parts, but I feel like you know, I feel safe, like safer handling this. I don't feel like I'm going to break it. So is it because you paid maybe a fraction of the price and it's easily yeah, replaceable? It, yes. And then I got two other things which I will never open, and that is no. This. I got oh, this new. I got this. I, I got this new. Like this is like never been touched. It's even got oh, the KV sticker. I see it. Open yes, it, it does. Open and it. I got. And I got. Oh, Hooligan. Oh. 
<laughs> yes. Those are That's some nice. collector's pieces, man. Yeah. Never opening them. I'm putting these on a wall. <sighs> Behind glass. Guarded by yeah. sentry drones. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I had I had a fucking bang up week as far as like adding on to my collection. So I got uh I got Walmart. Uh I'm calling him Deep Blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. Deep blue. Deep blue. I ended well, if up, I see him again, I'll pick him up. I ended up getting two Ractonites. So there's my one oh. Ractonite. He white. He is your quick question. Yeah. It is is his uh like the shield piece on the head is yours loose? No, no. Or is it actually glued? It's... Let's see. No, uh, no, it comes out. Oh, uh, it comes out, but he it's by no means loose. Mine was really loose, so I just glued it into place because he really can't like put it anywhere it, else. These come out too, so uh, yeah, I know those mm-hmm. come off. Yeah. Really nice. I got two because I saw like somebody made like a centaur version of Ractonite. I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's what he's going to be. I got two of the Decius Guard or Decius Army Drone. I love that thing. Yeah. He green. He black. Nice. Yo, she bald, bro. Um, I just, and then the rest, I haven't had really a lot of time to mess with any of them. Boom. Oh yeah. His badness yep. from Magnus. What was yeah. the appeal of this one over the others? I don't know. He's uh, <laughs> he's got an earth mode like uh oh, truck. Yep, and all, a lot of the parts on him are very okay. are actually completely different pieces from the war for Cybertron one. Interesting. Yeah, he's in the remold. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. Ooh, Huffer. Yeah, I ended up getting Huffer. With his boy. giant ass hand. And his Halo gun. Air Razor. Air Razor's yeah. really good too. And then. Bird Waifu. This week, Ariana and I watched the Netflix series. And she ended up really fucking loving the Netflix series. And oh. I went to Walmart and I said, Talk me out of buying the Sparkless. She goes, no, I fucking love the sparkless. Get it. So uh, we ended up. This is her first transformer, the sparkless. She likes Alita One, Skylinks, and the sparkless. That's her. That's her big thing. And weed. Skylinks is pretty great. That figure. <laughs> oh. Oh. I know what that is. That's oh, a scrapper if I've ever seen one. There we go. Ooh. So this is Mr. Trans Engineering, the uh, Trans Engineering Constructicons. And I'll, I'll break these out and talk these a little bit more. <coughs> but this is really why I got them. <coughs> this yes. one right here, a fucking steamrolling Constructicon. Neat. Yes. Well, they needed one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But it's, Make yourself a pizza. It looks really, really nice. I'll report back and let everyone know what the quality is like. But there is the instruction manual to it. I can't wait to see that crane. It's interesting that they decided to include artwork for it. Right? There's, yeah. there's the fucking crane. I have a feeling this was actually a real product. They just colored it green because they're like, uh, construction vehicles that are green sell better. Well, they already, Wasn't it orange? They already did. They already did one uh, like that's coming out soon that's going to be yellow. So you'll have this in G2 flavors as well. I actually, you know, I actually have seen uh, construction vehicles that were kind of Constructicon green before, but I only ever saw them in Europe. I want a bucket wheel Constructicon. Mm. Yeah. What you mean by bucket wheel? The giant... Like Metroplex in... from Cybertron? Yeah. That's what I was oh, thinking. Oh, God. That thing. Oh, yes. Is the train the just thing's so massive it needs a counterweight. The what the fuck, indeed? Yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> you are home. No, I'm in my house. <laughs> oh, you mean like... 
the the home in the woods, right? I want to no, not that place. I don't oh. want to live there anymore oh. either. Oh. <laughs> is it? I just feel like. Is there I, even still four walls? I don't even know. I just oh, feel, like, I is. feel like I need to go home. I feel like that all the time. I felt like that for the last twenty years. Yeah. I don't well, know where Scott, home is. You want to end on a depressing note, or you want to try to lift your spirits a little more? Let's see if we can lift the spirits a little bit more. I'm looking at porn right now. I mean, we didn't cover the masterpiece <laughs> stuff of skids. Well, that's well. No, I'm looking at eh. these pictures of uh, up on 4chan. Pictures of going of girls going deeper into the, uh, stages of depression during a BDSM session. I see. Well, good night, everybody. I got pictures to look at. Yeah. Oh um, <laughs> no. Let's see here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No. Jeez. I'm, I'm, wow, that went to a dark place. <laughs> Night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>